Hello everyone, my name is Jessica Montero. Um, I am a student from ISM 6508, actually in my last semester as an MSITM master's student. Um, and today I'm gonna present to you my e-commerce application called Home Hobby. The overall nature of this industry can be quite different depending on which industry you put Home Hobby into. Home Hobby can be considered both a social platform and an e-commerce platform in the sense that we connect hobbyists together and we also allow them to sell their product or service through our platform if they choose to do so. When we think of it as a social media platform, we think of the common applications like Facebook or Instagram. Home Hobby is more of a social platform in the sense that we host events and meetups for our users to meet face-to-face -face rather than online. If we think of it as an e-commerce platform, we instantly think of eBay. Home Hobby is also different in the sense that not all of our users are interacting with our application to sell their goods, but some may also just want to showcase their hobbies to get other in others interested or meet others who have the same hobby as them. Typically, users in this dem demographic would be mostly in the United States as we do not plan to service outside of the US, but we can expect the age group of our users to be anywhere between 18 and 40 years old, with an emphasis on 18 to 28 year olds and 35 to 40 year olds. This is just what trends in the market look like today for social media users. But we will be able to collect much more detail, much more detailed info once we connect to Google Analytics and start getting information on our traffic and the type of users we are driving to the site. As mentioned before, Home Hobby is, a, is special in the sense that we aim to be both social both a social platform that encourages in-person social connection and also an e-commerce site that allows hobbyists to offer their products and services on our site to sell to those who are interested. We also give them the option to provide shipping if possible to gain a larger outreach. So not only do we like to lo look at ourselves as an e-commerce business, but we also see ourselves as a social platform that connects hobbyists togethers, together. Also mentioned previously, our largest competition would likely be Facebook and eBay. Facebook is a social platform that allows people to do what any other social platform does, but also has a marketplace which allows users to buy and sell goods. eBay is also an e-commerce site that allows users to buy and sell goods as well. Where Home Hobby is unique is that we have the ability to do what our competitors do, but we cater to a niche type of person who we believe does not have a similar platform to do what they want what they would be able to do here at Home Hobby. They aren't just selling their old couch or rusty bike. They aren't just messaging strangers or creating posts for likes. Home Hobby is curating special experiences for hobbyists, which allows them to conveniently use our platform to sell something they love and believe in and attend events to meet others like them. In addition, we do not take any fee from the user when selling their goods. The only thing we ask for is a small monthly fee for being a member and enjoying the perks and member services that a member would receive. Home Hobby is a place for local communities to showcase their hobbies online and make a profit off of it by doing what they love. Whether you're selling your hobby or coming to buy from others' hobbies, you will get to connect with others around you and find out all the hidden gems your community has. Home Hobby is a great experience for all ages and all types of hobbies. We make it easier for you to explore your community. Regarding customer target market, when it comes to public relations, Home Hobby hopes to host events and pop-ups to engage local communities to explore the talent in their area. Home Hobby will work together with their community to spread the word of local talent and advertise pop-ups and events around the area. We will utilize social media channels to reach out to our audiences for events like these and hope that it reaches many, as many people as possible. When it comes to advertising, advertising will likely be done through paid search and lots of SEO. Paid search will allow us to target our customer audiences like artists, creatives, tourists, and more. SEO will enhance organic search and allow us to rank high for particular search requests. As far as marketing, hobby, home hobby will take a crawl, walk, run approach. The crawl phase is one in which we can identify the objectives that are most important and rank them according to priority. Maybe we need to improve user engagement, information retention, or knowledge transfer. Once the goal is settled, a single learning module 
or a series of session, sessions can be chosen, and more information can be drawn from it. Moving into the walk stage, things start to become more complex. There can be numerous systems connected to sources of data that are used for reporting. It moves more into the realm of detailed learner behavior analysis by extracting various types of data and interpreting them to give a better image of how users act in connection to formal and informal learning within the business. Finally, running is the professional stage of implementing learning analytics. In order for it to work as it should, apart from mastering the first two steps, it will require a listing of exact specifications and thorough planning. This can take lots of time and it may only make sense to stick with the crawl, then walk part of the strategy depending on our time and budget. Finally, when it comes to sales, Home Hobby aims to offer their customers local goods and services provided by others in the, their area. Hobbies can do what they love and make a profit off of selling their, good, their goods or services on Home Hobby. No need for fancy brick and mortar storefront, Home Hobby allows you to buy and sell goods and services directly through us. When we look at Home Hobby's competitive positioning, we have our Y-axis over here of competitive offering that includes value proposition, our core products and services, our value added offering, our customer geographic territory served, industry served, price, pricing strategy, and our targeted demographic. Um, really, we like to compare this with uh, two of our competitors. So for our two competitors, I used Marketplace, uh, Facebook Marketplace and eBay, um, and obviously compared those to Home Hobby. So going through each of these synchronously, Home Hobby's value proposition um, is that we're a place for local communities to showcase their hobbies online and make a profit off of doing what they love. Facebook Marketplace, uh, their value proposition is basically a social utility that connects you with the people around you. Simple as that. Um, eBay, they offer four primary value proposition, accessibility, customization, risk reduction, and brand and status. Um, Home Hobby's core products and services, we're both a social and an e-commerce platform, which allow you to buy and sell goods and services within your local communities. Facebook Marketplace, they're a social media platform that allows you to buy and sell goods. eBay, an e-commerce website that allows you to also buy and sell goods. The value added offering that Home Hobby brings is that we connect local communities together as well as individuals with similar hobbies and interests. Facebook util utilizes your social media account to connect to Marketplace, no need for an additional platform. eBay offers goods and services at a discounted rate. Home Hobby is national. We do only service in the US, whereas Facebook and eBay uh, are global wide companies. The industries that we serve are social media, tourism and art. Facebook Marketplace uh, serves to social media, art and home improvement um, and eBay home improvement and mass production. The pricing strategy for Home Hobby, as mentioned before, is that the seller decides the price to sell their good and service. Um, and really all we charge from them is a monthly fee to be a member of our, of our website. Facebook, the seller decides the, pr the price to sell their good and service, it, service as well. And then same goes for eBay, seller decides the price to sell their good and service. Now, uh, all three, Home Hobby, Facebook Marketplace, and eBay, um, we would like to target all demographics, although there may be some de demographics that are targeted more. Um, the goal here is to really reach as many people as possible. Home Hobby's main milestone uh, is that once the site goes live, we would like to reach 100 users in five different cities in the United States uh, by December of this year. Um, so really, our action plan for this milestone is, of course, our, qual our crawl, walk, run marketing plan. Um, we're also going to couple that with SEO and really try to utilize pop-up events um, in different towns and cities in the, in the United States. So the resource required for our marketing plan uh, would be the marketing team, the product team, and the business development team. Uh, 
Um, ideally, the head of product marketing would own this strategy from the end to end with the help of the other teams involved. Um, and we're setting this due date for around April 2022. Um, this isn't obviously implementing um, this strategy. It's more strategizing and coming up with uh, an end to end plan of how we will actually implement this. Um, that's what we want to do by the end of April. Uh, as far as SEO, the teams that we want involved, the resources that are required here are also the marketing team, the biz dev team, a uh, little bit of engineering work to implement SEO, and then our network intelligence team. So we would ideally like to have our business development team um, responsible for this. Um, and this is an ongoing effort since um, a lot of rules, SEO rules change from time to time, and we have to incrementally work on this and adapt to the changes uh, that happen um, as far as SEO goes. Finally, with pop-up events, um, really the product team and the business development team are going to own this. Um, we'll have the business coordinator um, really own this themselves. Um, the planning of these pop-up events. Um, obviously, the product team will be involved in making sure that the product is um, represented accord accordingly, um, but the business coordinator can be responsible for planning all the events um, and which cities they'll be in um, and all the logistical requirements that go with that as well. So this is obviously ongoing. Um, this is a huge part of who we are. We like to have these pop-up events. Um, so the first one's actually planned for April 2022. So when it comes to Home Hobbies financial plan, we do need to note that Home Hobby is not actually making any profit off of cost of goods sold. Um, so we actually only take a member fee of $5 each month from each of our members. Um, we're not actually taking any profit uh, from any of the goods or services that um, our hobbyists sell. So for that reason, I have on this first row here for selling price, um, $5 all the way around. That's assuming that, you know, we have, um, you know, a, a new users each month. Uh, cost of goods sold, zero all the way through, because, um, again, we don't take any profit from hobbyists when they sell their good or service. Um, if you go down to unit sales, um, this is just assuming that in month one we'd have 15 users, um, month two we'd go to 75, and month three 125 users. Um, this is additional to, um, you know, the users from the previous month. So um, we would add an additional 75 users in month two, an additional 125 users in month three. Um, the total sales offering um, this row here um, is just the unit sales multiplied by the $5 month monthly fee. Um, and then again, cost of goods um, is zero since again, we're not taking any profit from the hobbyists here. Um, the gross profit um, is just those those uh, amounts summed. If you look all the way across um, each month, we have a total of $12.50. Um, and as for, as, as for expenses, we really aren't going to spend too much on public relations uh, the first two months. Uh, we'll start doing that in month three. So I allotted for $100 month three. For advertising, we like to keep that pretty pretty standard all the way across three months, um, at least the first three months in general here. So uh, I allotted $20 each um, to the first three months. For um, marketing, I did the same thing. As for the website, we do have a pretty stable website. Didn't allot too much money to those to that expense each month. Uh, five dollars all the way across um, and then for shipping we don't cost anything for shipping because um, again we don't make any profit off of the cost of goods sold so that is actually up to the seller the hobbyist to pay for that shipping and provide shipping if they'd like um, and then when you're looking at the total expenses um, and our profit or loss we're really in a profit state uh, for the first three months obviously if all goes well. So um, that is the financial plan. That's what it looks like for Home Hobby the first three months. So 
So to meet the team, um, here are our four members um, as of today. So we have myself as the founder, we have Esteban as the CTO, um, we have Elise as the creative director, and Forrest as the product designer. The reason we chose these members um, was because they're all invested in the idea of home hobby, um, and they all brought really valuable skills and assets that we thought would be super useful to have as our core first team members. So um, we have Esteban, who's the CTO. He handles everything uh, front end and back end. Um, and we have Elise. She's our creative director. Um, so this, uh, you know, this role entails a lot. She has to do with um, a lot of the product, what the product's going to look like, a lot of our marketing strategy, a lot of how we want to advertise ourselves to the community, um, and everything along those lines. And finally, we have Forrest, who's our product designer. He's also responsible for what the product's going to look like, um, how we're going to show the product to the world, um, you know, who we want to target, and, uh, you know, all that fun stuff around product design um, and product creativity. Um, that would be Forrest. So this is our core team. Hopefully, um, if budget allows, we can hire new members in the future, um, but this is the dream team that believes in Home Hobby's vision um, and is going to help bring it to life. Finally, I'll take you through a quick demo of Home Hobby and all the features and functionality included on the site. Thanks. So here's Home Hobby. When you first enter the site, you'll see our logo up top. Um, a big title of Home Hobby here, um, and a nice little saying here, find hobbies near you. There's five main pages here um, and tabs. You'll see these at the top. We'll go through those quickly. Um, there's a login area here for you to log in and also a little cart icon that lets you know when you can add things to, or when you add things to your cart. So we have a little rotating carousel here um, of multiple pictures showcasing different hobbies that people may have. We have our mission and our vision. Um, it allows you to press explore more here, which then takes you to um, our actual about us page. So that's another tab. Um, then same on this about us page, you also have our team here. I kind of went through this a little bit before. If you go to our shop tab, you have um, all the items that hobbyists are putting up for sale. Um, it gives like a the title of the actual product or service, um, the cost for that product or service. Then it gives you a quick view and you can also actually click into the, um, the product itself or you can add it to cart from here. Uh, you would need to select a color add it to cart and then you see that it's added to the cart. If you want to view your cart you can just select this button here or get out of it and keep shopping. I can do the same here. Add this to cart as well and now I have two items in my cart. Um, as you saw the about us page already that's the third tab. I'll just quickly slide through this again and then you have the FAQ page here uh, this is just where we host all of our most commonly asked questions. Uh, a little bit about the return policy, about our payment options, um, if you can order online, um, and about our events. So we also have this little link here if you want to see our events. It takes you back to the home page and actually uh, directly to the events section here. Um, so we currently have two events, upcoming events. Um, and they will give you some information if you scroll over them, um, time, location, um, and then uh, even a description, and it'll allow you to RSVP here. In addition, we have a Contact Us section. Um, currently, uh, the Contact Us section has my number, so if you want to reach directly out to us, you would use this number here. Um, if not, you just fill out your information here, um, your name, your address, your email, your phone number, a subject, and a message, and you submit it, and that 
will go directly to my email address. Um, and then finally we have this little chat box here, kind of the same uh, sort of idea. You can type something and I will receive the message and be able to reply as soon as possible. So uh, because I am only using the free version to start um, and didn't allocate any budget to um, actually um, enhancing the website on the first month, you can view your cart, um, but once you do try to go check out, um, this is actually a paid service that I didn't set up for this demo um, because it does cost money um, and for this I was using all the free features that Wix offered. So um, you can actually see your cart, you can actually see the total here, um, you are able to add a promo code but um, checking out is actually not a free service. So, Yep, and then if I just go back home, um, I just want to point out here that we do have our mission and vision. I know I mentioned that before, um, but this is an important part of who Home Hobby is and what we resonate with. Um, so I did want to include this on the home page. Um, and then of course I did want to have the actual products and services um, that are being sold on the home page as well. Um, and then of course uh, the events page here as well. So this is um, really um, what the Home Hobby website has to offer um, and obviously over time we will um, add more features and functionality to this website um, but as a, as a user, as a member, you can access most of what you need uh, through the website right now. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much.